Hey everyone, so um, today was court day and please excuse my face, I've been crying all day. Um, today was court day and basically the judge denied him getting out of jail, bailing out. He's been there for almost two years. He went in in June of 2016. And by law, technically, he is able to bail out. They can't hold him. But the judge decided to not let that happen. And there's a lot of uh, reasons. And I would say almost like conspir not conspiracy, but like there's a lot of like conspiracy going on between the judge and the prosecution I feel like and it's just a lot of stuff I really can't talk about but like I've said before he's being punished for his past his past crimes that he's done yes but he's done time for and rehabilitated himself from um but I mean, I hate to be that person and be like, they're just against him, but they really are just against him. Um, he even stood up today in front of the ju judge after he denied his bail and he was like, you know, I'm, I'm above all this. I'm a good person. I prom, you know, like, I just love my family. I want to see my kids. And I think that that's what hurts him and me the most is our kids are the ones that are really suffering through this. Um... I'm actually outside in my car. I just went and saw him and uh, on a visit. They didn't come with me. They stayed here with my sister. And I just thought I would film this really quick in the car. Um, just because I don't want them to see me cry. I've been really um, sad today. But they have no idea what's going on. And my son is the one that uh, I worry about the most because... He was only two years old when his dad left or was taken to jail. And uh, he's four now. He's going to be five in January. And I just, it breaks my heart because I never wanted my kids to um, grow up without a parent, let alone a parent who was incarcerated. And I worry about this affecting him later. How it, will affect, how it will affect him later. Once he starts, you know, being old enough. Because it doesn't matter when you're a kid. Like, I know it doesn't matter when you're a kid. Um, how your parents leave or where they go if they abandon you. It doesn't matter what happens in your mind as a child. It's their fault that they left you. And I don't want him to feel like that. Because... Uh, his dad really does want to be in his life. His dad loves him very much, um, as well as I do. So, um, I'm just, I guess, just making this to update because I've been telling everyone about court and stuff. Um, so I just went back and forth of, like, wanting to make a video not. So this is really just going to be, like, as-is video. It's not really going to be a video. Just, like, kind of a post-update post, I guess. And, uh... I don't know. I just... I'm really sad. Really, really sad. Because it almost felt like he would come home. Like, he would get bailed out. He would be able to get bail, And it felt like for a moment I could feel it. You know, I was like, oh, he's going to be here. And uh, then it just gets ripped away. And it's like a knife in your heart. I'm not even being dramatic. I mean, when they, when we had to leave, I was outside of the courtroom, like, just straight up bawling, like, wailing. <laughs> um, I didn't even care who saw me. But yeah, I just want to take like a step back and just, I don't want to get depressed because I kind of feel like it's coming, like the depression is coming in. I want to be 
you know, well, when I went and saw him today, we both kind of cried it out, and he was just like, you know, like, he told me, he's like, they don't care about my life, they don't care about my life, and I don't want you to get, I don't want you to get drugged down with me, he was like, you know, I understand if you want to leave, I'm not even going to tell you not to. And I was like, no, I'm not going anywhere, you know. <laughs> but it just, it's sad. It's just really sad. <sighs> anyway. Uh, I don't really know what else to say right now. Um, we're just going to have to move on to plan B. Plan C, D, E, F, G. Because... He's been in jail. He has not been, he has not been, um, committed. I mean, what's the word? He has not, like, pled to any charges or anything. He is just fighting his case. He's been in two years fighting his case. So a lot of times people will be like, well, when is, like, how long does he have to do? We don't even know how long he has to do because he hasn't even pled or been, been, um, what do you call it? Found guilty of any charges at this time. He just has pending charges that they're trying to find him guilty of. Um, and he's just in jail having to, to do this behind bars. You know, like he can't even come home and like work or anything until this happens, which most people have the right to do. And he has the right to do, but the judge said no. <sighs> so anyways, um, I'm sure I'll talk about it more later, but I just, that's where we're at right now, and it sucks. <sighs>